Greetings, fellow German. Today, I want to remind you to operate in the power that you have. Utilize the time, the moments, your choices wisely. Doesn't matter how you choose to apply your energy, your attention, your focus. Make sure you own it and own it from a place of power. Own it from a place of dominance, if you will. This is not a reminder to go out and conquer the world. It's a reminder to stand true, stand tall, stand firm in who you are and what you are, which is an element of the creator of God. See, there will always be obstacles, but so. There will always be problems, so. It's part of the journey. It's part of the story. It's part of the move. These things will always be there. But so with the opposite. So with the blessings. So will the cherished, the cherished moments. So will the epiphanies. This is a reminder to stay open to allowing more power to come into you and who you are. To know that even if you only take two or three minutes to entertain that idea, that dream, that belief that you have. That as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other. You will come upon a destination that you seek out so much. You will come, you will come upon the answer for those questions that are uh, nagging at you, if you will. But trust that this is part of your divine journey. Trust that nobody has more say so in your life than you. You must believe that. Because if you do not believe it, then you will always know exactly where you're headed by somebody else's measure. You will always know where you're going to end up because all you will have to do is ask the person that is telling you where to go. But why should they know that? Why should you not know that? That if you are the one who makes the choices, if you are the divine power operating within this human vessel, how and why could anybody else tell you where you need to be? No, it's the opposite. Others may have opinions, and that's fine. But everyone here is only where they physically are and mentally are because of the choices that we make. I said, and sometimes those choices are the choice to allow somebody else to take control. I'm here to remind, remind anybody to listen to this, that you're better than that. You're way better than that. Trust in you. Empower yourself. This is not to say, once again, this is not to say to go out and conquer the world, to go out and have control of dominion over a person. No, it's a reminder to step within the power that is within you and know and recognize the control or power that you give away as opposed to the control and power that you step into by every waking moment, feeling, decision, what have you. We are all designed for more. Whether materially or spiritually, we are designed for that. We will continuously yearn for more, whether it be developing on the inside or developing things on the outside. Whether it be attaining things on the inside or letting them go on the inside. Whether it be attaining things on the outside, letting things go on the outside. It's all part of this beautiful journey. So I would dare say live a little. Be who you see yourself to be. Encourage those versions of yourself that you know lay within that you keep from the outside world. It's not to say that as you develop, you are uh, you have a responsibility to share everything with the world. But it's more so a reminder to step within who you are and do not be scared to make a choice that leans you more into who you see yourself to be. School don't teach this. 
work don't teach this. Life teaches. So experience your life. Don't simply go through the motions. Don't uh take on too much control, especially control that's not yours. Map out your whole life. Map out each and every uh waking moment that you can. Nah, you just build another prison for yourself. It's just customized for you. I'm saying be open. Be free in your thought. And in doing so, it will allow you to recognize where others are attempting to put their cages of imprison of imprisonment on you. And it will keep you out of that. Live your life on your terms. Move forward within that power. Sometimes that means taking action. Other times that means being still. But through these experiences of your story, what you will begin to understand or witness is that it's not always about what you can make happen. Sometimes it's about what you can have faith in and allow to happen. Because there's a time to reap, there's a time to sow, there's a time to plant, there's a time to rack in the heart. Find your comfortable state of mind, if you will, or comfortable place. No matter what part of the process you're in. And then allowing yourself to do that and giving yourself that grace, you allow yourself to fully embrace and understand what part of the process you're in. When you know what part of the process you're in, you know where you're headed. You know where you're coming from. You are present. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.